I'm going to tell you the my uh, food, for, food forest journey and it led me to YouTube also. It led me to YouTube because I want to show off my food forest. So we used to garden all the time and uh, I, I got where I didn't care for it. So Bill would till back and forth and the gr ground would dry out and then we had to water again and we was doing that all the time. So uh, the sun cooks the ground here and uh, and I was at the same time learning about the food forest. But I, he was doing most of the work himself because I really got tired of it. I didn't like a regular garden and we, we grew real good this way. We grew lots of food. But we was always constant watering and tilling. And I had manure in it and uh, you know it did okay. But uh, I just got away from it because it just seemed like uh, it wasn't right. So I started adding mulch to it and leaves and told Bill, we need to quit tilling because uh, anyway, we're probably chopping up all the worms and stuff inside. And this is the other side of the garden. And uh, I started planting stuff over here and growing food. So it, it kept growing and it did good. I really did like it. Uh, it was becoming a food forest and I wasn't really thinking about it but uh, a food forest that much even though I was uh, doing it and the garden kept growing up grass all the time and tilling and trying to get weeds out the food forest I watched it good and right behind this fence here is now where my old girls are in the chickens this became the chicken area but I was growing all through here it was so nice and we did enjoy it I just loved it the plants were so beautiful and they all lived in peace together you didn't have to put each plant so many feet away or inches it was just becoming nice and, and through that gate one day will be our food forest our second food forest. There's the donkeys. Back there by a bush. Right back there will be where the food forest would come to. It was so nice to have it now. But anyway, this was growing up, becoming a food forest. And all I thought at the time it was a garden but at the same time I was learning about a food forest and uh, it was just felt so good it didn't feel feel like a regular garden the dogs loved it I loved it and the chickens love it and Bill liked it too see I got my chickens out there they just loved it it was nice to have them in my uh, garden and I, I did think of it as a garden, but I was really making a food forest. And this side of the, is the garden, well it kept growing up weeds. It was a mess. The more we water it, the more the grass grew. And then over here we mulched it. So, we didn't have that grass problem. If any, um, if any grass showed up, uh, it wasn't bad to take care of. It was great. I just loved how all the plants uh, grew together. They didn't mind growing together. I didn't ha hardly have to water. It really changed my ma mind about food forest. I could have flowers and uh, food together and I liked that. It, it, it really is special, I think. Uh, the okra, you didn't have to have them a foot apart. Everything grew around the okra, and the o okra loved it. All the plants loved growing together. 
we pick food from it all the time. There's always something out there to eat. And I love that. Constant food. But, oh, this is the garden, our first food forest, and we strung it because we had the chickens out there. And we do string everything because of the hawks. This is our second food forest that we made before we got plants out there. And we lowered the beds so the water can flow in here. We made it tall fence so the chickens can't jump out. But we did a lot of tilling. We made four beds in here uh, and, and put the dirt on the pathways to sink the beds. And we had so much runoff all the time when it rained. So Bill figured how to uh, get that water coming to the food forest instead of just letting it go on out to the desert. This was a very important step right there. Uh, it worked great and it just helped the food forest come alive instead of letting that water run off. This year we didn't get too much rain. Oh, this is uh, because I'm planting a food forest, I started growing plants and uh, getting ready for it. I had to grow a lot of plants. And these are some willows in the pots that we got from a creek by the foothills because I knew I, I'm going to need shade uh, to block the wind and help cool the new food forest. And then we got leaves to cover the food forest uh, over so the sun wouldn't dry the soil out. This is so important also. And when the leaves rot, it makes good soil. So the water system started coming in and the food forest started taking off. I got my baby willows and sunchokes out there and other stuff. And it was just coming up so good. At that time, we was getting more rain. And uh, I put more pallets around the fence line to block some of that wind. The system was working real good. And when it didn't, when we didn't get water, I would uh, turn the sprinkler on sometimes to keep the plants going. But we kept putting heavy mulch. This is comfrey, and it started taking off. Every time it rang, it seemed like the food forest would come alive. It really started growing. And this is why I started a YouTube channel. I wanted to talk about my food forest. And you can see all the beds were lower, so the water flooded in here. And then after it rained, it was sitting, sitting water. And all the plants loved it. And I started feeding. Uh, there's Annie. Uh, she... I started feeding the donkeys out of the food forest. So every time she sees me in there, she starts hollering. They love the food forest. And they come over and beg for food. Mom, you got any food? And I wish I had food this year, but our garden, our food forest didn't do too well. But it started growing. to get more shade. And that's my plan. To block the wind cool the food forest down so in a few years it'll look a lot better more plants come up and they come up by themselves a lot too because we get leaves from the town and whatever's in them bags of leaves like a apricot or peach they'll pop up so the food forest is growing its own self it's like a mother but I appreciate y'all coming by and watching Out West Homestead. And here I let, well, it was once a food forest, but now it's all chicken pens. And the chickens are heading out to the food forest. So thanks a lot for coming by. I appreciate it. This is why I put Christmas lights in here, keep it warm. I got young seedlings in here. So this morning it was 48. And I turned the Christmas lights on. And uh, these Christmas, uh, these Christmas lights put out heat. Uh, a lot of the new ones don't anymore. 
but we look for the ones that do and uh, I got two strands of them and it'll warm it up 